Linux Pop OS. If you would like to restore your old laptop or if you would just want to have a USB stick with a live operating system that you can plug into any computer and have an operating system on the USB stick, then you might as well try this new operating system that just came out in 2017. It's called Pop OS and it's specifically designed for people who would like to create stuff. So today I'm going to show you a step by step process how you can download it, install it and have your operating system fully functional. If you find this video helpful, please support this video with your like and subscribe to the channel for new helpful and interesting videos. So thank you guys very much for watching. Stay tuned. Let's go. So for this job, we're only going to need one USB stick and you can start with like eight gigabyte. I think four gigabyte should even work, but I would probably start with eight gigabyte. In this case, I have bought like five USB sticks bulk for $20 and they're all 16 gigabyte, which is plenty for what I'm going to be doing. And they're really cheap. They're like four bucks a piece. But now let's go get started and download the operating system to our computer and install it on the USB drive. All right, guys. So the first step you want to do, as always, you want to actually download the operating system to your computer. I'm just going to go to this browser over here and here you just got to type pop OS. There we go. And the first search result is going to take you to the system76.com. This is where it's located. So just click on it. Pop OS is actually a new operating system that is designed for creative professionals, but you can also use it on any other computer and you can use it as any other live USB operating system. And actually, I did make another video about Linux Mint live boot operating system so you can check it as well i'm gonna put a link in the upper right corner and in the description as well so let's go get started so you just gotta go ahead and click on this download link and over here you can see there is two versions there is a regular pop os 20.10 and there is pop os 20.04 lts the difference between the regular version and the long-term support version is that long-term support version will receive security updates and other bug fixes and hardware support improvements for five years, while this one will only have that for nine months. But this is a new version, as you can see, it's a 20.10, when this one's at 20.04, so it's up to you which one you want to go for. I would probably stick with the 20.04 with long-term support if you don't want to reinstall it every nine months. Another option here, you can download the regular Intel AMD version or NVIDIA. And this depends on the graphic card because NVIDIA has proprietary drivers so that if you don't have NVIDIA download file, then it might not work properly with NVIDIA graphics card. So make sure if you have NVIDIA graphics card to download this NVIDIA one. So let's go ahead and try the Pop OS 2010 with NVIDIA drivers. And as you can see for the system requirements, you will only need a two gigabyte of RAM, 16 gigabyte of storage and a 64 bit processor. Okay, let's just go ahead and click download. And as you can see, this file is pretty big it's 2.34 gigabytes. So it might take a little bit of time. So I'm just going to fast forward it. So not taking much of your time. There we go. One second left. It's almost done. And then if you scroll down here, you can actually see there is a link showing you how to create an installation media. So let's keep going. So the second step will be making a bootable drive. And to make a bootable drive, you just got to go over here. You can click here. If you're using Windows or Mac OS, you can just click over here. It will take you to the program that's called Etcher. And it is an open source app for Windows, which can help you create a bootable media. Okay, let's click on it. And right here, you can just download for windows and it's only 141 megabytes real small so with fast internet it will take a few seconds once it's downloaded just click on it and then you're just gonna have to install it so we're just gonna click agree wait wait till it's gonna be installed and once it's installed it will automatically start here so there we go so if you want to create a bootable media using Balena Etcher, and this is a really easy and simple program. So the first thing you want to do, you want to choose the file. And as we know, it was downloaded to our download bin. So you're just going to go to downloads, find this pop OS ISO file, click on it. Now you have to select the target media, which will be our USB drive. I already got connected to our computer. 
So there we go, this is the one right here. The cool thing about this Balena Etcher is actually it does show you like a large drive sign here. So this drive is really big. This way you're not going to mix it up and it does show you the size over here. Like it says 4 terabyte, 12 terabyte, 5 terabyte. So you're not going to mix it up and accidentally burn the ISO image on this drive because it's going to remove all the other information on the drive. So it actually show you like it's a large drive. So don't do that. But in case you're using like a 64 gigabyte USB drive it will also have that sign so just gotta be careful and choose the right drive and in this case it's a USB 2.0 drive here 15.5 gigabyte or 16 gigabyte actually so click on it and just click select there we go and that's it just click flash so there we go it's starting so it's gonna take a few minutes to finish so we just gotta wait and meanwhile I can explain to you why I decided to go ahead and try pop OS because it has quite a few cool features. It has an encryption right out of the box so you can encrypt your drives without having to install any additional software. You can update the stuff on your terms. Those updates are not pushed onto you so that you have to install them no matter what. In this case, you decide if you want to install it or if you don't want to install it and when you want to install it and how much. So it's really good. It gives you, it gives you that right to decide what you want to do. Unlike other operating system it never allows you to do that it will push you until you install it and it's really disappointing that they do that and another thing is pop os does not collect or store any of information from your installation which is really great it only uses the minimal hardware data just to provide you updates and connectivity verification so this is really great to start using something that's more safer and that doesn't collect all your information and doesn't store it somewhere on external servers where you have no access to that information and then it also has an automatic firmware update it can be accessed from the software settings so this is really great feature. It's also compatible with a lot of cool software tools. It has like a Chromium browser. It has a Mozilla Firefox browser. It has a VLC player that you can watch videos or listen to the music. It's got Dropbox. It's got a Telegram messenger. So I think it has a lot of features that you can use. You can actually run a lot of engineering programs on it it supports DaVinci Resolve so you can actually do video editing and this was the major problem for Linux users is that they could not use the software that was designed for Windows there is really a lot of cool software that's designed for Windows that you cannot use on Linux this is why you cannot really stick to Linux all the time and you and you have to use Windows but once more and more software starts to become available on Linux and hopefully we'll see a lot more interesting software on Linux platforms. So now it's gonna be validating the burnt image on the USB stick, make sure it's all burnt correctly. There's no gonna be any issues. So just gonna wait for a few more minutes. All right, there we go. So it's all done. Now let's go ahead and install Pop OS on our old laptop and see how it's working. All right, let's continue. So let's go ahead and plug in a USB stick into the laptop and I would suggest using the USB 2.0 because sometimes USB 3.0 doesn't work. So there we go, it's all ready. So when you're gonna be loading from the USB stick, make sure that you press either escape or F1 or F2 or F7 depending. Sometimes it uses different, oh, there we go. It starts to load right away. I don't know if you can see it. There we go. So it's automatically started to load. There we go. So right now it's it has started and we just got to wait till it loads up their installation window. So this is basically your Pop OS environment user interface. Here you can select the language and it has quite a few languages available so you can choose the language that you speak. Go click select. Here you can choose the country that this computer will be located and this will help it to localize all the data like let's say currency or time format that's widely used in your country so you can just choose that. And here you can choose the keyboard layout. And it also gives you a different keys layout for each keyboard, 
we're just gonna stick to the default one and here in this in this window it gives you a few options how you can get this installation done the first one is the clean installation and it will erase everything and install the fresh copy of pop os on your hard drive the second option is the custom or advanced one in this option you can create resize partitions and for example if you want to install two operating system on one laptop or on one computer then you can use this option to create let's say windows and pop os and then you can switch back and forth in case there's some apps on windows that you need to use and that are not available on pop os and even before you start doing it you can try the demo mode and this will allow you to run it right straight from the usb stick and you can see how you like it you get used to it and after that you can go ahead and install it permanently on your laptop or computer in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to do a clean installation so we're just going to stick with clean installation right now let's choose the drive there's only one drive in this laptop so i'm just going to do that and before you click that install button make sure that this drive doesn't contain any important data that you want to keep because it will erase everything and it will be destroyed completely so that you probably won't be able to recover it if you press this button right here so make sure 100 percent there is nothing important on that drive before you click this button let's go ahead and press erase and install there we go now another cool feature about pop os it allows you encrypting the drives right out of the box you're using this operating system you don't need any other software to install on your computer to encrypt your hard drive and this is awesome because basically what it does it allows you to encrypt all the drives on your computer and in case somebody else access your computer without your authorization they will need to input the password that you set up for your computer otherwise they won't be able to access your drive and this is great in case you're worried about your privacy and the information that you get stored on your drive this is why pop os is really great for that in this case i'm not gonna do that let's go ahead and click on this one there we go so right now it will start installation process so we just gotta wait till it finishes and then it's gonna be ready to go so yeah this is pretty simple straightforward and i do like the interface of this installer it's really easy to use it's very convenient and unlike other Linux distros where you have to be quite a bit profound in computing and programming. This installation is super simple and of course if you have any questions still you can always leave them in the comment section below. I'll try to help you as much as possible. If you think this video is good and you like it please give it a like. I appreciate it very much and also subscribe to my channel because I'm gonna have a lot more tips and tutorial videos like this coming out on my channel. Okay, so it's just finishing the installation. It's almost ready and I would say it was about 10 minutes to get it installed, which is pretty quick. And this is because we were using the USB 2.0. If you're using the USB 3.0, it probably will be quicker. So right now, as you can see, after restarting, you can get it set up a new user. You can shut down now and set up a new user. Let's go ahead and restart this device and we can remove the usb stick right now i got it removed so we don't have it anymore because everything is installed on this computer right now there we go guys the pop os is on it's working it says welcome so we can go ahead and set it up so добро пожаловать it has all kinds of languages so yeah let's go ahead and click next so right now you can choose typing or the keyboard layout here you can connect to the Wi-Fi right away, so you can go ahead and choose whichever Wi-Fi network you want to use. There we go, put the password in and press connect. Wait till it connects to the network. Now it's all done. And you're going to press next. You can use location services. We can just go ahead and turn it off. Then you can connect your online accounts. We're just going to skip this for now. We can set it up later. Now you can set up your accounts then we can just go and click next again then you can set up the password click next there you go this is it it's all installed you can start using it and start learning and getting to know this new operating system as you can see the taskbar is right on the top it's got the date and time here 
and it also shows you other things in the upper right corner you can power it off lock it go through the settings and adjust your volume your brightness so this is really convenient to have it over here it also shows you your battery level your speaker loudness you can access it pretty quick it shows you the wi-fi connection and in the upper left corner you can go through the activities uh, there's already firefox uh, web browser installed there is files you can go through and other software so you can just go ahead and check them all out it's pretty cool and you can always install more software from the store this is really great because it's all free software you don't have to pay for it and it is safe as well so as you can see there's quite a few things you can actually use yeah this is it guys i hope you find this video helpful and interesting if you have any questions please leave it in the comment section below if you like this video please support it with your like subscribe to the channel for more videos and click the notification bell so you don't miss the new videos that are gonna come out so there we go there's your desktop this is pop os this is a great operating system i hope you enjoy it and hope you have the great rest of your day i'll see you soon bye bye